last tutorial we had discussed creating a dynamic home page and in this tutorial we're going to review creating a static page as your home page. A static home page is when you use your reading options to assign a static page as your home page which is created when using pages. In this scenario you'll be required to customize your home page within that single static page. So what we would first want to do is go to our dashboard and create a new page. So log into WordPress admin, go to pages and add new. In our example we're going to be editing an existing page and if you imported the demo content you too will have the home page static example. So the first thing you're going to do is give your home page a title. In our example we've used home page as our page title. Because we're going to be creating a slider background we're not going to add content to this actual page. Instead we're going to scroll down and we're going to use our meta options. So scrolling down we're going to look for king size page background options. Here we'll see the ability to upload a custom background that overrides the default global image. So if we only want a single image as our background we would upload that image here. If we want to use a slider background we would select that from these options or the video background we would select here. When using pages to create your home page you're going to have the body content automatically shown over the background. So in this next option we have the ability to hide the body content when it's first loaded. When choosing this option we can either show it by default, temporarily hide the body, or permanently hide the body. Since we want to replicate the demonstration home page, we want to permanently hide the body so that we can view the slider at all times. Our next set of options is the king size image slider options. Here we can manage and customize our slider background options, such as which slider category ID we want to use, the transition effects, the number of slides, the slider order, intervals, transitions, titles and descriptions, slide controllers, as well as controller position. If in our page background options we had selected video background, we would then use the king size video background options, insert our background URL for the video, we can check to enable or disable autoplay, enable or disable the control bar as well enable or disable the repeat video. If you don't already know how to upload your slider images or assign slider categories we recommend you watch the dynamic home page video which will give you a better understanding of how to create the slider items and the associated categories. Once you've configured the options for this page scroll up and hit publish or update. Once you've published your new page that you intend to use as your static home page, we're going to want to go to our settings and reading options. In our reading settings, we're going to want to choose a static page. And with the page we just created, we want to assign that as our front page. So use the selection and find the page you just created in our example is home page static and once selected hit save changes. Now go back to your home page, refresh the home page and your home page should now be using that static page you just created and assigned in your reading options. If you have any questions or concerns please visit our buyer support forums by going to ourwebmedia.com support.